Welcome friends, this is my data file handling part number 3. In this video, I discuss a program which read from the text file and count number of blanks, number of lowercase letter, number of uppercase letter, number of digits, number of special case character from my file. For example, this is the content of my file once there was a 5 hash crow. So number of spaces are 4, uppercase letter are 4, lowercase are 12 number of digits 1 and special symbols are 2. So let's begin. For this I take a simple Python program. Uh, friends watch my previous video of data file handling if you are new to data file handling. Uh, link given in description box. If you are okay with the basics of data file handling then it will okay. You can watch this video. Uh, in this video I take uh, variable f. I use open function and open a file story.txt in a read mode. We have to read the file story.txt. I use read function which read whole content from my file story.txt to the st. I print the value of st and never forget to close a file. Friends, I save this program. Look, this is the default location of save. Please choose easy path. For example, I create a folder on desktop data file. And I save my this code to my folder data file. What is the reason for the easy path? Look, friends, story.txt must be on a disk for reading. Means must have a story.txt on your PC or laptop. But in this case, this is my data file folder. There is no file story.txt. So if I run this code, it will give error because it can't find the story.txt from my desired location. So this is error. So I create the file story.txt here. Simple text document and a create a file story.txt. Initially it is a blank file. Put any string to file story.txt for example once there was a crow full stop save this file now if I run the Python code again it will not give error it will read the content once there was a crow look I run this code now output is once there was a crow so whole content are read by this read function and stored in ST Remember, st is a string. Now, I need to access a file character by character. I need to access a file character by character. For this, I use for loop. Friends, remember, for loop ends when the loop is repeated for the value of the sequence. Uh, remember, for loop ends when the loop is repeated for the last value of the sequence. And the for loop repeats n number of times where n is the length of the sequence given in the for loop header. So I give st. It means it runs up to last character of the st. So I fetch this file character by character by using for loop for a in st. Now a fetch the o, then n, then c, then e and so on. Now once there was a crow. It compare each and every character by blank. So increment by four times. So number of blanks are four. This is for the spaces. And similarly, I use is lower for lowercase letter. I use upper is upper for uppercase letter. I use is digit. And if the character is not a lower, not space, not upper, not digit, then definitely it will be special symbol. Means it will uh, full stop, hash, dollar, anything, anything. So I'll take a last variable OT is equal to means other than letter, digit or space. Now don't forget to initialize all these variables by zero in the beginning. And uh, never forget to print the value of all these variables in the last of the code means out of the loop.
so if you don't clear about this program please watch my previous videos link given in the description box now this is my complete program you can access these code from my website www.anacondapython.com now I run this code now look this is the content of my file once there was a crow number of spaces 4 uppercase letter is only 1 lowercase letter are 16 and digit nothing koi digit nahi hai and special symbol is only full stop so 1 you can change your text file you can add any digit or special symbol in that file and see the output output is changed for this you have to change the story.txt for example this is my story.txt uh, make any changes for example was capital Mm, for example, not a single, this is a 5 crow. Uh, any special symbol you can add, for example, hash. Ignore the grammatical error in this file. Now save this file and run again. So digit is 1 and special symbol are 2 and number of uppercase are 4. Now I run this code again. Now look, number of spaces 4, uppercase letter are 4. Number of lowercase are 12, number of digit 1 and special symbol are 2. So friends, hope you like my video and if you any query regarding this program or data file handling or python, you can put in comment box. Hope you like my video. Please hit the like button. Please comment and please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.